Hi kids! This is Teacher Erica and welcome to Math Plus. Today we are going to talk about combined operations. Everybody please say combined operations. Alright, so what is this all about? So first, we have to, or you have to know this symbol. So this symbol is called parenthesis. Everybody please say parenthesis. Pewa, buong lip. Alright? So, let's have an example in combined operations. It is called combined operations because we have more than one operation. So, in this example, we have subtraction and addition. Alright? So, we have two operations. Alright? So, how are we going to solve this? First, you need to follow the rules. Okay? Okay, so do the operations in parentheses first or bracket. Okay, you have to solve the problem inside the parentheses. Okay, so like in this example, these are the problem that we need to solve first. Okay, so let's write. And then operate on only two numbers at a time. So only two numbers. Okay, at a time. So, first, um, the two numbers inside the parenthesis or inside the wrong leaf. So, let's subtract like this. Okay, you have to arrange the two numbers to be operated vertically like this one. So that it will be easier for us to subtract or add. Alright, so, minus and then write the line. So, now let's subtract the, di uh, the digits one by one. Alright? So from here, let's start from here to here. Okay, so 5 minus 2, 3. 9 minus 8, 1. 6 minus 7. Okay, so cannot be, right? You need to borrow from 5. Because 6 is smaller than 7. So 6 will become 16. And 5 which is you borrow 1 from 5, so it becomes 4. So 16 minus 7, 9. And then 4 minus 1, 3. 4 minus 3, 1. 7 minus 2, 5. And then, so after you get the answer from this problem, then proceed to here. So answer... 513,913 plus 29,365. Alright? Then write the line. So now let's add 3 plus 5, 8. 1 plus 6, 7. 9 plus 3, 12. So write 2, carry 1. 3 plus 9, how much? 12 plus 1, 3, I mean 13. So 3 carry 1, then 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4. Then bring down 5. Alright? So now our final answer is 543,278. Understand? Okay, so this is how you're going to um, solve the problems involving more than one operation. You have to remember, solve the problem inside the parenthesis first. Do you understand? Of course you do. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. If you need to review, Please replay this video. Thank you for watching, kids. Goodbye.